Hello, my name is Marcy Major, and I'm the founder and director of Music Service Learning. And I'm Adam Gumbel, I'm the associate director of Music Service Learning. MSL is an organization that aims to make positive changes in music education through collaboration. Starting as a response to the pandemic last March, this nonprofit has grown and changed so much over the last year. We're here today to talk about the various ways college students, educators, and other leaders throughout the community can get involved. Being a college student is such an exciting time filled with infinite possibilities, but there are also those feelings that, that creep in of uncertainty, right? Am I, getting enough, am I getting enough experience, or what are the right experiences? Or how do I develop my professional network beyond you, you know, the people that I know in my classes? And am I gonna get a job? Where's that job gonna be? Am I gonna be prepared as I get that first job and enter into the field? College field experiences are awesome, but certainly have some limitations. They don't expose students to a lot of breadth of situations. Students usually only observe in one, two settings before they student teach. Traditional field experiences don't allow students to work together in collaboration with students from other universities and teachers from many different kinds of schools to showcase their strengths, develop diverse skills, and implement outcomes that have an immediate impact. Yeah, and once you move from pre-service educator in college to a professional in-service educator in the field, you quickly realize there is no experience that can prepare you for every situation. And that there are times where we all need additional help and support in order to provide the best possible experiences for our students. So whether it's additional eyes or ears or another pair of hands or a fresh set of ideas, our organization aims to pair college students seeking to share their energy and, and gain new experiences with folks in the field who are looking to share their expertise and gain new perspectives. Exactly. In MSL, everybody has something to give and everybody has something to gain. We work within a project-based collaborative model that shifts with the changing needs of all stakeholders, allowing real space for innovation and growth in our field. We're fortunate to have an incredible network of people that join us on our mission. Let's meet a couple of them right now. Hello everyone, my name is Lauren Riles and I serve on the Artistic Board for Music Service Learning. I have spent much of my teaching career working at the secondary level teaching instrumental and general music. Most recently, I'm a music education PhD student at Temple University and work at Westchester University as adjunct faculty. At Music Service Learning, we ground our work in peer-reviewed evidence-based research. It is probably not a surprise that we know collaboration works. You might have participated on a performing arts committee or benefited from other support teams within your school or district. From a student perspective, you know how peer work and other group projects facilitate deeper discussions on material and creative ways to complete tasks on an assignment. We are musicians after all, and many of us thrive in ensemble settings, working towards common goals. The power of collective collaboration enables all to accomplish extraordinary things. And Morshed, Shijok, and Barber 2010 found two reasons why. First, knowledge becomes more widely available and accessible on a daily basis. In our ever advancing technological world, working in collaboration provides opportunities to apply learned knowledge and seek new information at a rapid pace. Kind of like the phrase, many hands make light work when working in a partnership. The second finding is working together generates commitment. Music service learning is fully committed to collaboration partnerships and supporting transformation and change alongside assisting teachers with their project goals and beyond. One common thread throughout much of the collaboration partnership research in education and business is a strong reliance on teamwork to identify and respond to problems. Other key collaborative component definitions suggested by Welsh and Sheridan in 1995 are common goals, joint work, and interdependence. Collaborative partnerships hold common goals that are mutually beneficial to all stakeholders. Goals are created by the people in the partnership themselves. These shared goals contribute to a sense of bonding or team making, resulting in a mutual commitment to each other to achieve the goals. Little 1990 found people who share and collaborative connect through common goals, which motivate all team members to contribute with successful work on their own. 
Little, 1990, also referred to the shared responsibility to achieve the goals of working as joint work. When teams are engaged in joint work, individuals are interdependent and rely on each other to reach their goals. Through a collaboration network like Music Service Learning, we facilitate innovation and change in music education and in other aspects of community and collegiate education involvement. Redefining how education relationships and processes can work for the betterment of all stakeholders at the micro and macro levels. Thank you. Hello, everybody. My name is Spencer Camacho. I'm the interdisciplinary intern coordinator and also serve on the artistic board for music service learning. Though I'm currently a music technology graduate student at New York University, I spent my undergraduate years focusing on music education. You've now heard from Marcy, Adam, and Lauren about how music service learning came to be and what our mission is for musicians, educators, students, and collaborators alike. But you're probably still wondering what exactly we do at MSL. So why don't we take a closer look at what some of our current projects are. Over the last year, we developed, tested, and implemented projects that provide win-win-win results for our interns, you, and your students. We are planning both in-person and online options this fall and want to spend some time showing you our greatest hits and new releases as a way to spark innovation. We hope to collaborate with you on one of these projects or another idea soon. Feel free to pause the presentation after each description, scan the QR code, and head over to our Padlet to reflect on these projects. Did you participate in any of these projects? Did you have another greatest hit favorite we didn't highlight? What would you like to implement in your school? How would you like to work with MSL and our interns? Whether supporting growth during a pandemic, trying to help students have more effective individual practice, or aiming to grow part independence, directors utilize practice tracks for a variety of reasons. At Music Service Learning, we're able to create practice tracks for bands, orchestras, and choirs with real instruments and voice, electronic sounds, or a combination of both. Our interns work in teams to create tracks through many different platforms, including Soundtrap, GarageBand, Audacity, and MuseScore, to name a few. Creating practice tracks can lend nicely to other projects such as ensemble support. Our interns gain so much from making practice tracks for teachers, including practice on secondary instruments, repertoire expansion, score study, and technology practice. How do you enhance student learning with practice tracks? Head over to our Padlet and tell us your thoughts or express interest in learning more about collaborating with MSL for your next set of tracks. In this program, ensemble directors can elect to have musicians experience a private lesson for the first time or receive a little more personal attention after falling behind as a result to transferring or time away. These two to three lessons prove beneficial for everyone. Interns get to cultivate lesson environments which provide a safe and individualized experience and teach on primary or secondary instruments, while teachers can remain focused on the large ensemble rehearsal. Students who receive these lessons can quickly find themselves filled with confidence, motivation, and skill to continue flourishing in ensembles. We look forward to serving your music program with engaging, high-quality ensemble support. While the backbone of most traditional programs is the large performing ensemble, smaller chamber experiences provide students with opportunities for growth that are notably different. When forced to make musical decisions without a conductor, students become empowered and develop into more independent musicians. When performers embrace independence, they are far more likely to develop leadership skills, responsibility, organizational skills, stage presence, creativity, and foster their own unique musical identity. Talk with one of our MSL directors to discuss your program and develop an action plan that aligns with your unique schedule and personnel. A team of our most experienced music education interns will then meet with your students periodically to coach them through important concepts such as communication, musical decision making, and rehearsal strategies while developing as independent musicians along the way. Directors love getting extra support for the students in their program and interns love getting hands-on teaching experience in a variety of settings. Hi. I'm Brian Landon. I'm the director of bands at Boyertown Area Senior High School, and I was fortunate enough to have the great students and leaders of music service learning join our program for a bit of time. And they did a great job leading our students and helping them understand the great aspects of small ensemble and also um, help launch some great 
potential in our small ensemble program at Boyertown. I'm very fortunate to have worked with them. Head over to our Padlet to discuss the ways chamber music enhances student learning, empowerment, and musicianship. During musical season, every director needs an extra set of hands. From helping with the audition process to coaching singers, musical support collaborations provide a win-win for both MSL interns and musical directors. Just look at the overwhelming excitement from the interns and directors alike. Yeah, yeah, feel free to pause and you can read them all. I'll still be here when you hit play. Next season, we look to offer both in-person and online musical support to customize experiences for all. Head over to the Padlet and tell us about your musical support needs. Hey everyone, my name is Adam Gumbel, and I have the privilege of serving as the director of the Westchester University Incomparable Golden Rams Marching Band, as well as the Associate Director of Music Service Learning. As we prepare for the upcoming marching season, we're very excited to announce a unique opportunity for high school bands across the region. Many of our members and interns come to us with a variety of backgrounds and expertise in the marching arts, and they are pumped to share that knowledge and passion with high school band students. Since many programs may be in need of added supports as we emerge from the pandemic, the mutual benefits of collaboration seem to be quite clear. With that in mind, we're looking to organize and deploy teams of student clinicians to help provide supports to marching bands as they engage in their preseason training programs. So take an inventory of your own program and start to consider some of the possibilities. Maybe it's a workshop session with your student leadership team or uh, assistance installing your marching fundamentals program. Maybe you need folks to provide supports during music sectionals, or you might even be looking for an ensemble clinic to review your rehearsal techniques and, and see if there are some new ideas. Whether your marching band's in need of a recharge, a reboot, or even a rebuild, reach out today for a consultation and discuss the possibilities so we can work together to take the field stronger than ever this coming season. We hope you enjoyed just the highlights of some of our greatest hits. This fall, we are launching a series of new projects. Would you like to be part of moving our mission forward? Don't forget to head over to the Padlet, add your thoughts. What projects look appealing? Do you have ideas for projects you'd like to see us develop? What needs do you see taking priority in the next school year? As a teacher, do you ever wish you could have a refresher session or private lesson support on music content areas where you need growth? In our new MUE PD program, you receive a private lesson from an intern whose area of expertise matches your need. Through this program, your lesson goals are met as interns learn to explore and adapt their expertise for all learners at varying levels. Lesson options include subjects such as instruction on secondary instruments or singing, support for technology, coaching in different styles of music, or anything else you may need. Head over to the Padlet and tell us where you still need and want growth as a lifelong learner. After a successful pilot program, we are ready to launch a Brain Trust curriculum development project. In this collaboration, teachers provide curriculum and or lesson plans that they wish to change or expand. We pair them with a team of interdisciplinary interns from around the nation for a series of five meetings to brainstorm, develop, and plan new ideas. Tell us how we can get a team working with you. Before MSL launches a project for the public, we run a pilot to get feedback, work out kinks, and ensure it provides valuable experiences for all involved. This upcoming fall, we will have two pilot projects running. Regardless of their ages and backgrounds, all people deserve a chance to express their creativity through music. This fall, MSL is piloting a songwriting program which is completely customizable to your student's age level, class type and size, the amount of lessons, and learning outcomes. Whether they be 12th grade AP Music Theory students, 9th grade band students, 4th grade general music, or even a 7th grade after school program, MSL will customize our framework guided by our common stages like text, melody, harmony and form, and choose lesson plans which best suit your students' needs. All right, you want to get in on the ground level of cutting edge technology that could truly enhance the way you teach timbre in the classroom? Well, being a part of this technology development project can help you fill in the blanks about why creating timbre plays such an important role in not only music making, but music listening. 
Most of our timbre pedagogy relies on performance techniques and ensemble learning, but with this tech, we can further strengthen the concept of this prominent musical parameter. If you're interested in participating in one of these pilot projects or have an idea for a project you'd like to try, then head over to the Padlet and join the conversation. These are just some examples of the projects we run through Music Service Learning. Head over to our website to check out even more ways you can collaborate with us. We have roles for college students to work as interns, teachers to work as volunteers or mentors, and businesses to build strong partnerships. Do these ideas have you thinking of other collaborations we might achieve together? Wow, it's, uh, it's really been quite the rookie year for Music Service Learning. And uh, it's amazing to look back at this point and see what this has uh, what this has become and, and really get excited about what it can be in the future. So I guess this is the part where we would be taking questions from the audience. But uh, as as we look around, um, I'm not seeing, you know, it's basically us. So I guess <laughs> I will, uh, you know, I'll, I'll ask Marcy the question that we get most frequently. Hey, this all sounds great. What do I do if I want to start a collaboration with music service learning? It's super easy. You go to our website. If you're a college student interested in internship, you can fill out an application. If you're looking for a collaborative team, you can fill out a request form. If you're not sure, you can just send us an email. And then after that, a member of our team will contact you and we start a conversation. Yeah. And conversations are the best way to start any kind of relationship. So feel free to reach out to, to anyone who's a part of our team to get the ball rolling. So, um, you know, if you have further questions, feel free to head to the Padlet. Um, make sure you leave your contact information so that we can be in touch with you. And, and we hope that you've enjoyed this whirlwind tour through MSL year one. Um, and uh, hopefully at some point we created some sort of spark that can ignite an idea that might just lead to a future collaboration. Uh, best wishes on the remainder of the 2020 school year. Thank you. We look forward to hearing from you.